Welcome back to Ephesus. This is the town of Seljuk, which supports Ephesus. And it looks like there's a farmer's market. Let's check it out. Wow. Today we're hauling produce. All right, first things first, aqueduct. What a nice market. I guess they do this maybe every Saturday. These trees look like they're growing oranges, but they're not. They're growing some orange-esque fruit that's bitter. I was told not to pick them because they're not good for eating. Aha! Well, here's the aqueduct. Good, how are you? Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Oh. Very nice to visit here. Thank you. Travel? Travel? Yeah, travel. Very good. Check it out. Nice people. Nice aqueduct. All right, let's go check out the Basilica of St. John. Sixth century Byzantine Basilica ruins. More aqueduct. It leads all the way up to the basilica. Some nice looking ruins down here. I love the way this aqueduct just passes through town. Appears here and there. Sometimes there's an arch, sometimes there's just a pillar. Very cool. All right, made it to the Basilica of St. John. of early Christian cross motifs. Look at this curly pillar.
So this building's roughly the same age as the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul, but clearly not in as good shape. This is what Hagia Sophia would look like today if it completely collapsed and didn't get maintained or turned into a mosque or anything. Grand archway. I wonder what this was used for. Some kind of altar. These little details, the little motifs are everywhere. You may remember the Church of St. Mary that I checked out at the Ephesus ruins. Well, this church replaced it when it was built. Ooh. It's another one of these circular chambers with the pit in the middle. The Baptisterium. Okay, so I guess this is where they did full immersion baptism. What an awe-inspiring place this must have been when it was built. Now that's an ancient looking mosque down there. They haven't stabilized the minaret. Can you make out that tiny little column down there? That's the remains of the Temple of Artemis, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Incredible. Look at the colors of this stone and the marbling. It's so beautiful. And these tiled floors. All right, let's get a look at the castle. Oh wow, very nice model. So this is what it used to look like. Traditional cruciform design. Very Hagia Sophia-esque. Hey, nice conveyor belts. I love that dam opener. In Australia, that would have been a video all by itself. What a wonderful old Byzantine fortress. You can see those slanted bottoms so that siege towers couldn't make it all the way up to the walls. 
clearly built in the same style as the walls of Theodosius in Istanbul. What a great view of the countryside from here. Look at those bath ruins down there, see them? Wouldn't want to fall down in there. That'd be a nightmare to get up out of. Nice cisterns though. Is this a mosque or a bathhouse? The minaret makes me lean towards mosque, but it's hard to tell. Oh yeah, it's gotta be a mosque. It's pointing towards Mecca, so that's all you need to know. Maybe this was the bathhouse. Oh yeah, definitely the bathhouse. Classic ancient Roman thermae, styled into an Ottoman hammam. Very cool. I think this is a way to get up onto the walls. treacherous. I wonder if they had an extra wooden platform up here or if this is all they had to walk on. Wow, what a view. Time to head down there and check out the Temple of Artemis. Guy's selling me a little ancient coin. Bro sold me these three coins. We got Caesar and Brutus. Caesar. We've got Zeus, Yes Chad, and Mary, Mary Mother of God, with Saint John on the other side. You're just gonna have to trust that he's there. Hope these are real. But dude seemed trustworthy, but what can I say? He's got this cute dog though. Hello! So this. 
was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, the Temple of Artemis. Amazing to think that only a pillar remains and this foundation. What a grand sight it must have been. Look at that. Look at these many breasted Dianas they sell. Gotta get one. How much? How much this? 50 lira. 50 lira? Okay. Little many breasted Diana fridge magnet. Love it. Check out this hidden tomb over here. No, ain't that one of the coolest things you've ever seen? Okay, now that I've seen the aqueduct, Basilica of St. John, Temple of Artemis, got that many breasted Diana, I'm gonna leave it there. So this has been Seljuk. See you on the next one.